I was ready last night until I passed out. What do you think? Are we going to have a baby today? Mm -hmm. Are we going to have a baby today? Been a been a crazy past 24 hours. Um, obviously, no baby, but we did have contractions start yesterday around noon, and they progressed um, <clears throat> through the afternoon and evening. At about 1:30 this morning, they were about every seven to five minutes apart, and about a minute and a half long. Um, and then I got super nauseous and went and picked my guts up and then felt really crummy and so I went to lay down and luckily I was able to get some rest. So I woke up again at three and then five and then um, really woke up around 7.30. So I was glad I was able to get some rest. And then since 7.30, contractions have been about every 15 to 10 minutes um, about a minute to a minute and a half in duration so I'm just getting up really um, I went outside and played with the dogs a little bit because they need that and they need to know that I'm okay um, so we had all of them but Piper out and Joy out uh, with us last night so the others hadn't really seen me yesterday um, but so we're just kind of getting our day started I need to get some hydration in me and electrolytes and this guy needs his coffee this guy cleaned the whole kitchen and then what did you Pretty make last night? House. <laughs> yeah what did you make um, last night? so this is bone broth chicken bone broth and then this is it's got lemons apple cider vinegar it's got raw honey uh, water obviously and haymaker punch haymaker punch all right mm -hmm. and what else does it have in it redmond v light so it's an electrolyte supplement from redmond real salt nice. and then apple cider vinegar how are you feeling? You ready to be a dad? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm ready to go. And then I got my, my munchkin with me. Munchkin. Hi. So. Are you canning more bone broth? Yeah, I'm canning the last three. And then I don't know what I'm going to do after that. We brought this table out. Um, this table was in the nursery, so we brought it out. This is for our midwives to put all of their equipment and everything um, once they get here. This is the birthing kit um, that came with our package. So, and then over here, um, we got the pool set up. So literally all we need to do is just fill it with hot water. All we need to do um, is have a baby. <laughs> yeah, all we need to do is have a baby. It's 2.30 in the morning and contractions are three minutes apart, um, a little bit more intense. And so we went ahead and called my midwife. And so she is going to head this way, not in a super rush, but um, she's gonna head this way and do a cervical check. I also called Morgan, our photographer, um, to just let her know where we're at. So she's gonna head this way as well. She lives a little bit further from us. Um, but that's where we are. 
So uh, Josh is out chopping some more wood so that we can keep the fire going. It's super chilly out. It's like 38 degrees. Um, so we're just trying to stay warm and get everything prepped to hopefully have a baby in a few hours. So I need to pull the pool back out and get the table set up. But that's where we're at. Got your wood? Oh, I just got my wood. <laughs> my yes, goodness. I got my wood. Um, yeah, I got, I got it. I got everything. You ready? This is big news. Doing a test. Can you tell who's excited? Because I don't have to do anything physical. <laughs> Be no, there to support this, me. Is a good, this is good. This is why I'm a support person. Cause I got this. Okay. Whew. Chopping wood's hard stuff. <laughs> he says to the lady having a baby. <laughs> uh <-huh. sighs> All right. We'll check back in in a few. It's Three almost days. five o'clock. Three days later. Three days later. Um, today is Wednesday. And we're still pregnant. So I had a midwife appointment yesterday morning to just check on everything, make sure everything's good. Um, me and baby both got a clean bill of health. So that's good. We're just waiting on whenever she's ready. So we've been just hanging out at home, sleeping when we want to sleep and getting up when we want to get up. Um, which means I got 12 hours of sleep last night, which is kind of crazy, but obviously my body needed it. So anyways, we came out to walk around. I've got some more intense contractions, but they're not spaced out yet to where um, it's time to call the midwife. So that was one thing Sunday or I guess it was technically Monday when the midwife came at 3.30 in the morning, um, was my cervix was still pretty thick. And um, so the thing with what was hard for us to kind of judge and tell when was the best time to call them um, was like the intensity of the contractions obviously this is our first birth um and so we weren't quite sure like the contractions were every three to five minutes but they were not intense enough to render that it was active labor um and my cervix wasn't anywhere near close to being any sort of dilated at all so um we've just kind of been hanging out the past few days and just playing it by ear and obviously she's still healthy and active and um, just wants to hang in there, which is fine. It's just that fun waiting game of life with a natural birth, which is very different from having a hospital birth. It's very much on a time schedule. If you're not at this point by a certain point, you know, they're gonna start you on um, Pitocin and give you an epidural and then you need more Pitocin and so it's a lot more strenuous and stressful on your body versus like with us doing a natural home birth she just comes whenever she's ready <laughs> so it's completely normal for it to be up to two weeks after our due date so yesterday was our due date so we've just been hanging out and just waiting on our daughter to decide that she's ready look at this sandals 40 <laughs> weeks in one day <laughs> but we're gonna actually i think get a hold of the midwife and then that way uh, i think we would like to have one of them come out and do another cervix test so cervix check, cervix check. It's well a it's a test but whatever cervix check so i think we're gonna go inside and do that but wanted to do a little walk around before the sun went down mm. We do another lap before we go in. Okay. So. Let's do it.
Hello, how are you? Hi. Doing good. Um, so I wanted to call and give an update. Um, so we are about three to four minutes apart. Um, level of intensity now is about eight or nine. Okay. On, on some of them for sure, definitely nine. I think it's time. You think it's time, you say? Yeah. Would you, uh, it's kind of hard to understand you. Yes. Maybe, yeah? yes, yes, I think it's time. Okay. Alright, we'll make our way there. Okay. See you soon. Alright. Alright, bye. Okay, bye. 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 The next day. I know, how many days are we going to be waiting on this girl? It's Thursday, December 8th. And it is 2.42 in the afternoon. I'm just coming out to let the dogs out and go for a walk. Um, contractions are every... Contractions are every four to five minutes right now. Um, so that was just one. A lot more intense, definitely painful now. Figured it'd be good to come out and get some fresh air, walk around a little bit, get this girl moving. in the morning we're doing contractions again we've been doing them since you said four yeah since about four o'clock so we're back in the living room she wanted to be on the ball so now we're back to doing what we were doing last night totally fine baby's coming whenever she wants to come I'm tired mom though very tired mom very tired mom and then these two hooligans over here pair these two hooligans yeah you taking care of your mama
Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Mm. I have no complaints. No complaints? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's starting to smile. She has no complaints either. <laughs> what do you think? Well, it seems pretty perfect. And what's her name? Scout Calum Kelly. And what's the meaning behind it? Well, I don't have a meaning behind Scout. But the meaning behind Kalem stands for peace. And so since we are supposed to be preparing our house for peace, she took the name Kalem. I think she's hungry. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe. Maybe. We did it! I say we. I keep saying we because I'm used to us always being a team. I did it. And it's weird to say that and feel humble to say that. But I did it. And it, as everybody else says, was 100% worth it. And she's perfect. And we're so in love with her. And life is life is good with a baby. Um, it's definitely different getting used to a, a different sleep schedule, but it's been good. It's been really, really good. So I did it and it was great. Um, so we had a completely unmedicated home birth where I gave birth to her in a pool and I only pushed for about 15 minutes. So that was pretty, pretty cool. However, I was in early labor for days <laughs> and in active labor for a little bit longer than 15 minutes, about four hours from my water breaking to her being born. So we were super excited to welcome her into the world. She was born at 6.43 p.m. on Thursday, December 9th and she weighed seven pounds, six ounces, 20 inches long, and 10 fingers and 10 toes. We've had two appointments since then to just check on her and check on me, and we are both doing great. Only good things to report back. And we're just so in love and so blessed to have her in our lives. We're very, very excited about her addition and it's actually been really nice trying to figure out how to go slow and how to adjust to life with a baby, a newborn. Uh, feeding every two hours. Today we had our first feeding cluster. So that was interesting where she wanted to eat every hour. <laughs> but it's going well. It's going well. Today she is 
five days old. She's perfect and we couldn't be happier. And I just wanted to thank you so much for watching this. Um, I hope that this maybe inspires you or inspires you to tell somebody you know that having a home birth doesn't have to be scary and it's your body doing what it was designed to do. I appreciate you watching this and watching the story of Scout Calum Kelly be born. It was everything that I envisioned it to be and everything that I hoped for it to be and I could not have done it without the support of Josh, of course, nor without the support of our amazing midwife team and our birth photographer, Morgan, who also kind of stepped in as a doula during the process. So it was an incredible journey and a great story to share. And I'm really glad that we were able to capture it so that we can cherish it forever. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go and give it a good thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts, share your story, um, and share this with your friends and family. So we appreciate it. Till next time. We'll see you later.